Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, Truth With A Twist. I am your host, of course, and every girl's good best friend, Chad Turner. And you guys, I wanted to come and bring you guys along for my 23-week um, scan. So tonight I will be scanning, and it is midnight where I am right now. So tonight I will be scanning my teeth with the Smile Doctors um, scan box and the Smile Doctors app so that I can advance forward in my Invisalign treatment. So right now I am in week 22 and I am going into week 23 and I'm gonna go ahead and start the process on how I get ready and then I'm gonna jump into actually like the scanning portion of everything. So first things first, rule number one is always wash your hands. Um, you are putting your hands into your mouth during this entire process and the last thing you want to do is put a bunch of nasty germs and bacteria and stuff in your mouth. So rule number one is always, always, always wash your hands. So I have an Apple Watch. <laughs> My Apple Watch automatically kicks in as soon as it hears water and feels me like rubbing my hands together. So it gives me a nice 20 second countdown. It's really nice, it's really convenient because I'm actually able to focus on washing my hands as opposed to um, the little countdown that's there. <laughs> so it gives my arm a little vibration and lets me know that I'm finished. Nice job, and it's time to rinse. So, after rinsing, I go right back here into our little linen closet and get myself a little towel so that I can dry my hands and I'll be better able to handle everything. You know, with your hands are all wet, everything's all slippery, and so it can be really easy to drop things and that's like the last thing you want to do during the process. You want to keep everything as clean as can be. Um, the next step is removing my aligners and actually brushing and flossing my teeth. I want everything to be as clean as possible, as shiny as possible, so that when it's time for me to take my scans, my dentist is able to actually check my oral hygiene as well as the tracking of my Invisalign. So, at this point, removing it is like second nature. I can do it. <laughs> with no effort at all. Forgive me if I drooled. <laughs> and I'm gonna floss. So I'm gonna insert in a little bit of elevator music so it's not so boring while I'm doing this. One row down. All right, <laughs> so on to the brushing portion. Now I have a Burst electric toothbrush. It was actually recommended to me by my primary dentist. 
and it came with a really nice um, discount and it comes with a replacement brush head subscription. So every three months I am charged, I think $6 for um, replacement brush heads. And so it's really convenient. This is a really, really great toothbrush. And for the life of the brush, as long as you own it and you keep your subscription active, um, if your brush were to ever break or something were to happen to it, the company replaces it for you. So really cool company. I'm not being paid to say this. This is literally my personal toothbrush and I love it. So. <laughs> Another vital part <clears throat> of my oral hygiene is this tongue scraper, baby. I know. This little thing will save you a lot of heartbreak and pain, honey. I ordered mine off of Amazon. Because that's kind of like where I get everything. I get everything from Amazon out. I order my Chris Glamorous White from Amazon. So, yeah, it's my favorite. All right, so while I was swishing with my mouthwash, I um, went ahead and brushed out my aligners because you have to put them in during your scan. So I have this cool little Smile Doctor scan box and you have to put your phone into it. Now, it really helps if you're cameras are really, really clean. Um, this is really important. Um, make sure that you guys are wiping your cameras off because having a smudgy camera can really um, make your scans look really gross, you know, a lot worse than they really are. And so um, having a clean camera will really make everything good and nice and crisp and clear so that you know, you're receiving your responses back from your orthodontist really quickly and they're able to, to get a full um, assessment of your teeth at the time. So as you guys can see, my scan is due like now. And so I'm gonna hit start scan. And you guys may hear um, what it has to say. I won't be able to do any more talking until after the scan is done, but um, I will leave the sound in so that you guys can hear what the prompts are that the um, scan is giving me. So you guys will be able to hear what I have to do and watch me do it right as I do it. So here we go. This is my cheek retractor. They give you this um, at the very beginning. So you do have to keep up with it and you clean it after every use. Hopefully that's what you guys are doing. into the scan box and latch it in. Insert the cheek retractor and snap the scan box into place. Double tap to continue. For this step, bite down on your back teeth and keep your teeth together. Double tap to continue. Bite down, shift the scan box to one side. Now shift the scan box to the other side. Step 
Restarted. For this, I messed up. Down on your back teeth and keep your teeth together. Double tap to continue. Bite down. Shift the scan box to one side. Now shift the scan box to the other side. Back to the center. For this next step, you'll have to keep your teeth slightly apart and scan side to side. Double tap to continue. Open your mouth slightly and keep your teeth apart. Shift the scan box to one side. Now shift the scan box to the other side. Back to the center. Insert your aligners. Double tap to continue. this step what we're doing is we're actually going to review the scan to make sure that we were able to capture the photos that the orthodontist is looking for so I'm gonna click start the review and it just shows my teeth the photos that I've taken and those look really good so I'm gonna click next and then with the teeth apart Okay, I clearly need to do that one again. So I'm gonna click retake this step. And then for the next one, it's the ones with the aligners in. And the photos look really good on my end. So I'm gonna click next. So I already know I have to do the ones teeth slightly parted without aligners. So I have to remove my aligners and do that step again. too confident about this one but I'm gonna check it out okay they look really good from my end so I'm gonna go ahead and submit this scan now the app wants you to keep it open until that bar finishes that lets you know that the orthodontist has been sent your scan and that everything is complete so right there, I got my confirmation that the scan was sent successfully. And at this point, I will just wait for a message from my orthodontist to let me know that everything looks good and to continue forward with my next set of aligners. So um, at week 23, you guys, you pretty much know at this point, like you've taken the scans for 22 weeks already. I've done the scans 22 times. So I already know that my orthodontist is going to okay my scans. Um, at this point, I know what they're looking for. I do not recommend that you guys go ahead with your next set of aligners before you get your message. But my best friend works at the orthodontist office. 
And if there's like a problem or anything like that, I'm sure I can get it taken care of. But in 22 weeks, I haven't had to worry. And so I typically just move forward with my next set of aligners. In about two to four hours, I will get a notification to my phone letting me know that it is okay to move forward with my aligners. Um, everything is typically really automated. It's really quick, it's simple, and I mean, it's really good to go. <laughs> Each week, I can tell that there's gonna be like some new progress because the aligners fit really tight, just like on the first day. Uh, right now, whenever I don't have my aligners in, my teeth are really, really loose. Um, not really loose to the point where it feels like they're going to come out, but they are like I can wiggle them. Um, they don't align right now. So like teeth are colliding that don't normally collide. So um, a few times throughout the process, I've been very, very annoyed with having my teeth clink into each other and they don't normally clink into each other. But I trust the process and I know that in the end, my smile is going to be very straight and it's gonna look very good and I'm gonna be very happy with the results. Um, another thing that I deal with on a regular basis right now is some of my teeth are really sensitive to pressure. So biting down on things like um, lollipops or like on a bone or something from inside a piece of meat, um, that really hurts. So I have come to start babying my teeth, um, just not really eating things that are going to be really pressure intensive, things I have to bite down on like um, jawbreakers or anything like that, hard candies, stuff like that I kind of stay away from right now. Um, another thing that I'm really conscious about is my aligners really protect my teeth from stains. And so at the end of the week, um, your aligners look really gross in comparison. See how, how yellow that looks? They look really gross after being in your mouth for a whole week and, and soaking in like residual ketchup sauces. If you smoke, they're soaking up smoke. I drink a lot of tea, so mine are tinted a bit brown. Um, and underneath, my teeth are really white. My gums are really healthy. And my oral, my oral hygiene really keeps my oral health up to par. So... Um, yeah, that's my 23 week update. If you guys have any questions, make sure you drop them down in the box below. Also, if you guys like my video or like my content, please smash my like button, hit that subscribe, join the notification bell by clicking the bell, and um, share the heck out of my videos because there's a man, woman, little boy, little girl, a teenager. There's someone somewhere who needs to hear this message. Thank you guys for watching my video and thank you for visiting my channel. I love you guys, like always, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.